Hello traders, welcome to KinFX Academy YouTube channel. My name is Akin Lakin, I am the lead instructor. In this video guys, um, let's, we are going to do something together. We want to build spike indicators together. Like, um, something to tell us that spike is coming before the spike occurring in the market. So that you can take the advantage of spike to make money in the boom and crash market. So now, uh, what you are going to do is just to be following me as I'm going. Understand? Don't make a mistake of skipping any seconds of this video. If you do that, you are going to miss out something that may require you losing your money to pay for it. So, I will advise you to stick to the end of the video and don't miss a seconds on this video. So guys, I will make this video quick so it won't take much of our time. So as we all know, just click on the indicator symbol, indicator logo, I think. So just click on it. Um, the first indicator we are going to ask is our relative strength index. So that's what we actually need to determine the weakness and strength of the trend before the spike occur. Just click on it leave everything at the default setting like this um change this color to the background of your chart if you are using dark background you should change to black if you are using white you should leave it as white then click on done after that if you have something like this on your chart um you can put your chart at the last zoom level you can see how my own chart is so I will actually tell you the reason why it is in the last sum level. Actually, you can use any level, but I prefer using the last sum level for this particular um, strategy or indicator. So then, go back to the indicator window again. Just click on the F sign again, as for the beginners. So click on this F plus. So now we'll be looking for a moving average. So you can see the moving average here. Just click on it. Um, change this 200 to 5. We only need 5. Add the indicator window. 5. You can leave the color at blue or you can select any color of your choice. Leave all the settings. Shift 0. Method exponential. Apply to close. Style for pixel. Then click on done after that. So you should have something like this. So now let's go back to the indicator window again. Remain one moving average. Click on the F plus in front of the indicator window. Click on the moving average again. Then turn this 5 to 10. Then click on done. Let's change the color. Um, you can choose any color of your choice. But let me use black. Then click on done. So you can see that. So it looks like normal strategy we are familiar with that if anything cross here you should say that is if you are selling but now we are cashing spike you know since um relative strength index tell us the weakness of the strength when the um we know that when the markets get to the region that means the market has been oversold we should buy and when the market get to this region we know that the market is of our bot we should sell so now you know when cashing spike on the um, boom market you know we are going to buy so our area of interest is the market when the market is over so which is yeah so how do we know the spike is going to happen when these two moving averages has come to an agreement here so then something must note before um the spike must happen these two moving average must align they must align together and turn to one you can see if you shift your shots to the extremely left end so the two indicator must align and you can see it align here so does this mean that spike is going to happen um for me i will say i'm um, probably under maybe so how can we show that the spike will actually happen then go back to the indicators window then click on the relative stretch in this um this that i said you should turn to the background of the chart um i think you should leave it at red leave it at red 
so all you just click to set to default to bring out this then click on done so we have this you can see that the red we just added now is the one line down flat here you can see it's the one line down flat here so now all these three indicators has come to an agreement here you can see but this um red has not entered the offer sold region sorry this red has not entered the offer sold region here but these two has been in the offer sold region which you can see that um the spike is not that sure so now the what we are looking for is that when these two moving average when uh, let me see all these three moving averages the stochastic the signal is stochastic the two uh, moving average exponential we added on our own when they come to an agreement in any of this region you know when you are trading crash you are going to sell but let me just focus on this boom when they come to an agreement in this oversold region so there must be spike when three of it enter that region there must be spike so is it when they just enter that spike will occur no there's something it has level it has gauge gauge and it has um let me say indicator on its own to measure the level of the spike when the spike is going to happen so it asks meta let me just call it meta so that it will be clear so how do we read the meta how do we read the numbers so oh, come to here in front of this rsi 14 you can see there's a number reducing you can see 18.79 you can see 18.6 you can see you can see 18.5 now you can see 18.4 so now how do we know where to enter the the trade so the meter when the meter keep reducing it's telling us that this trend this trend that got to this offer so region is getting weak that spike will happen anytime from now so our own area of interest is when the spike gets to level one or level zero point i just give you the the measurements you'll be looking at so when this meter reading gets to zero point if your account is 30 dollar below you will be waiting for this meter get to zero point it actually get there in a day you may see more than five to ten getting to zero point if your account is hundred dollar below you may be trading at three point two point you are safe because and, and there is another thing out that's why i told you that not to uh, mix any seconds of this video and not to but not to try to forward any minute of this video because there's something i'm going to show you about this reading too so because you may say that sometimes in a day the reading don't get to a zero maybe you don't see any zero before the spike occur and you may see that if you have 100 account you may see that if you enter the trade from two it will actually enter a zero point zero one before the spike occur let me tell you what happened in that scenario i will explain you can see that this thing is 0. Point, um sorry 16.4 now is reducing so all the three um moving average has been in this of a suit region is telling you that this strength is getting weak that buying that buyer may take offer that the trend may change anytime soon which the spike may change anytime soon that is what this meter reading is telling you so now as i explained how do we know when this will get to a zero and when it will not get to a zero so that we can make take advantage of that again now let's click on this um indicator sign again click on main chart the f plus in front of main chart then click on moving average then change this to 200 
then change this color to any color of your choice i prefer using blue then click on done so now you will go to 15 or 30 minutes time frame let's use 30 minutes time frame you know what this means i've explained this in many of my video so anytime you see this candle above this line we just this moving average we just added anytime we see candle above it that means the market is buying there's a lot of spike in the market and you see that in higher time frame if you are going to one minute time frame to trade you should have it in back of your mind that what you are doing if you want to follow the trend you have to buy only if you want to counter trade that is when you are going to sell and if you see can do below this moving averages moving average so you will have it in back of your mind that the market is selling only if you want to counter trade you will buy now in this scenario we are now the market is selling because this candle is below the moving average so in our m1 in that situation when you see you have see that the general trend is buying that means this indicator you have to wait for it it gets to one point or zero point because the market is selling the general trend for the market is selling. if you enter for buy at level three or two you may enter much lost before the spike happen and if the spike happen it may not be able to cover the lost you understand because the general trend for the market is selling so but if the trend if this if you check your 30 minute time frame and you see that the candle is above this moving average you can cash your spike when the um you can go to one minute time frame and cash your spike at level even five spike will surely happen because it has shows you that the trend is buying the spike is market the market is spike market but now the market is sell market so waiting for spike you have to patiently wait to this get to one or zero before the spike occur because the general trend told you that the market is selling so let's check um crash so you can see what we explain is um other way around you know you are selling you are buying for crash um selling for crash and you are buying for boom so you can see when everything comes to an agreement in this region so you'll be waiting for this to get to now you know that one is zero points now this one is 99 points 99 points before you enter for save your caching spike if you know that if you go to the 30 minutes time frame and you check that the candle you can see the candles are above the this moving average which, which means the market is buying crash is buying so for you to cash spike in the one minute time frame you have to wait for this to enter 99 points you can see this one is counting up but that one is reducing so it's reading the strength of buying you understand you know this is buying you understand so crash is buying so it's telling you the strength of this so when it gets to 99 points which is 100 is the maximum level and a zero is the minimum level when the buying gets to the maximum level it will surely spike down you understand so let's do so let's see some um back testing and see the level of spike so you can see here the spike happen when this let's bring out the cross here you can see at 99.6 that is where the spike occur 99.6 so you wait for market to enter 99 well, to confirm the general trend that the market is buying but if they can't do in the 30 minutes time frame is below the moving average like this that means you can catch the spike at 98 or 97 spike could happen anytime from that but general advice if your account is below 30 dollar please always wait till it's zero point or 99 points that is an zero point when trading boom when you want to catch spike on boom and 99 points when you want to catch spike on crash so guys go and try to demonstrate this strategy to build your confidence in this strategy so i have done 
my own part it's left to you to make use of the strategy and to make sure the strategy works for you so guys i wish you happy trading and always trade responsible if you have not subscribed to this youtube channel and you think i deserve that from you don't hesitate to do that just click on the subscribe button comment drop your comment under the comment section and if you want to contact me my contact address is under the description of this video so guys have a nice day